What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do something just a little bit different. I wanted to give you an extended look at what it's going to take to actually swap out the artwork on a stock Arcade 1-Up lit marquee. Now I picked this one up brand new from the Arcade 1-Up website. It was one of the few that they had in stock and I didn't really care about the artwork because obviously I'm going to change that. So what you're going to get brand new in the box is obviously the lit marquee. Instructions on how to hook this up to a first gen or third generation cabinet and this three-way connector here. Um, for plugging in power and sort of tapping into the stock power on your cabinet. Let's go ahead and plug this thing in and fire it up and see what it looks like. I mean, not bad. I mean, there's some other marquees out there that illuminate a little bit better. Maybe the image is a little crisper. But uh, I love the way these things actually mount inside the cabs. I like the way you have a captured nut inside. And you can really tighten that up and it draws the top of that cabinet together. I'm going to start at one of the corners with my X-Acto knife and uh, begin to try to peel this thing up. Now this can be a little bit frustrating, but if you just take your time, um, it's really not that bad. You can see I kind of struggle with it in the beginning. Oh, catch that X-Acto knife there, buddy. Nothing like a little razor knife to the crotch to <laughs> ruin your day. Um, you can see I kind of start with a peel here, just a, a thin strip. But uh, if you just sort of stick with it, and use the knife to kind of find spots where the uh, you know the film is sort of separated from from the uh, from the marquee itself. You can really get in there and get a good piece, and then it, it's at this point here that you can see that um, I'll be able to peel up the whole thing. And you're gonna have to work at it. It's a really good adhesive, um, so you just sort of don't be afraid to use a little bit of strength. I was I was kind of keeping one hand on the lit marquee as I pulled up the. Uh, the graphic just to kind of keep that from separating. I didn't know if the if the you know the translucent back would actually separate from the frame if I pulled too hard. Didn't have that issue. Uh, it, it came off okay. A little bit of residue left, but uh, just sort of stick with it, and uh, it will come off in one piece. Okay, so what we have left is a little bit of adhesive uh, residue, just sticky enough to kind of. Uh, maybe give us some trouble putting on the new artwork. So we're going to go ahead and hit this with just a little bit of alcohol to get rid of not every uh, every single bit of adhesive, but just the majority of it. And that's going to allow us to have a slightly sticky surface to mount our new graphic. Sort of position that. Really want to fuss over the positioning unless you got your uh, unless you ordered your artwork exact. I I ordered mine a little bit larger. start with peeling off this backing paper. Once you have it in position, peel off just a little bit of this uh, backing paper here. Now what you can't see in my hand is the X-Acto knife. I'm cutting away just a, a small portion of that. You can see that go away there. And then I've got maybe a quarter of the marquee, then I'm, the graphic that I'm going to lay down, sort of press that down. And once that's sort of in position, that'll lock the rest of it in, uh, so that it won't move. Sort of lock it in place. And then you can peel off the rest of that protective film and then as you apply it, you want to pull sort of uh, perpendicular, uh, pull or parallel, I should say, uh, with the graphic itself. And then just sort of smooth as you go to keep it, you know, depending on how thin your uh, vinyl is, you know, the thinner it is, the, the more apt it is or prone to air pockets and air bubbles. This is a pretty thick stuff. This is from um, Game On Graphics. I, I love using this company. They, uh, you know, I do all the designs myself and then I, I send that in. And then they just print it off for me, so I can get these things turned around really quick. Uh, I know that Scott is definitely busy over there, but he, he cranks out great stuff. I think all the orders, I think he had like, we had one little mix-up, and uh, he made the correction immediately, got it back to me. So uh, definitely a great company to work for. If you want if you want them to do the, uh, the design for you, it's going to take some time. I think I mentioned this in my last video. Everybody is, uh, they're pretty backed up this time of year. Um, with all the work, you're going to be waiting for weeks uh, to get your artwork back. Um, and then, you know, if you just take it upon yourself to go ahead and design this yourself, you're going to get uh, you're going to get your artwork back really quickly. So here I'm just taking, obviously, you know, my X-Acto knife and trimming off the excess. I'm taking my blade and I'm pointing it slightly inward. I don't want to have any uh, any overhang at all. And what you're going to find out is that if you cut 
too much in, you're going to have a little bit of that, a uh, little bit of light bleed. But I don't know that there's any way to really 100% get rid of it uh, or, or avoid that completely. But uh, what I'm going to do is, that if I do have any, I will uh, probably hit that up with a little bit of paint, just a little bit of black touch-up paint, and that should blend in. And it shouldn't be an issue. So just take your time. You know, you want to put a little pressure on the marquee to make sure it's uh, sitting flat on your surface. My little work table here is not exactly flat, so yeah, it's one thing I'm sort of fighting. But just take your time. Obviously, you don't want to ruin this. You don't want to get too aggressive, move too quickly. If you have places where it appears you didn't really cut all the way through, just take your time and, and allow the, the razor or the tip of the knife to find the groove from where you cut previously and just stay within that groove. And you should be good to go. And with this final cut, we'll put all the excess over here in the pile. Go ahead and uh, sheave the blade and take a look at what we got. Uh, this film date laid down really nice, uh, turned out great, and you can see that on some of the very, very edges I had a little bit of light bleed. I cut a little too much of the film back, uh, but I'll be able to just sort of hit that with some black paint and it should be fine. But let me know what you think down in the comments section below, and I will see you next time.